Jimmy Roberts one here. Sometimes I really wish I wasn't aware of some of the things in which I am aware. Believe me, I have plenty of other things I could be doing. Fun things. But I am aware of certain things, and I have a self-imposed responsibility to repair the ill-driven thought process of as many of you as I can regarding the fact that we aren't alone and never have been. Now, there are many who fight these efforts, sometimes out of ego and ignorance. Well, they are harming everyone, including themselves. People need to know what happened on Mars. Now, this production is entitled 10 Images from Mars That Cannot Be Denied. And notice I said 10 images, not the 10 images. It's not limited to these. There's plenty more where these came from. In fact, it was a chore just to pick 10. But we did. But we fell through experience in dealing with everything from the curious to the dubious to the close-minded, hard-headed skeptic. And nothing wrong with being skeptical. You have to be. But the word skeptic now carries with it a stigma, just like conspiracy theorists. They both cause harm. These images are from the rover Curiosity, and this is a great one in which to begin, simply because of this. Now, most people are dumbfounded by this, and I'm a little surprised it was left for the taking. Most people I've shown this to naturally begin to look around at the rest of the image, now being more inclined to see all those rocks for what they really are. Washed out two dimensional images can be a tough sell, but not here. When people see this, they often begin to comment on whether that is made of wood or something else. A normal person will not mistake this for a rock. Now, here's another shot of the same area, different angle, same result. Ask any five, six, or seven year old what they see, the answer is never a rock. I wonder why. But this one is from the same day, just right down the road. Nobody knows what this is, but it's easy to see what it is not. Most people look at Mars images expecting to see boring dirt and rocks. So how will they explain this? I've got an idea. Show this to your friends.
something we added because our long-time viewers, well, they deserve to see something new. I was examining this area using a 3D method and discovered something. Here's an approximation of what may be going on. I hope you see how easily everything is camouflaged here. These aren't rocks, folks.